Greetings. Words create reality. And most people are not aware that it is their own thoughts that is creating their reality and creating their personality. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You see, a word is actually a thought expressed. And every action is the expression of a thought. Now, the more you come to the understanding that your thoughts is shaping and molding your life or your outer experiences, the more you will become aware of who you are and the more powerful you would become because you will get rid of the old programming whereby they program you to be limited. They program you to have doubt and fear and guilt and shame and condemnation. And they do that through religious programming. Especially if you grew up in the Caribbean and Africa and so on and those kind of places. Places whereby they introduce uh, the religious system into the school system so from a very young age. Okay, they make uh, religion a part of the curriculum and so when you go to school in the morning you have to say praise and then at lunch time you have to do the same thing and when you after your lunch is finished and you go back in you have to do the same thing and then in the evening before you leave school you have to do that again and all of that is programming and the reason why the programming is successful it is because we operate and frequencies and everything is based on energy vibration and frequency but most people are not really aware of that. You see, most people own a cell phone and they do not understand it operate on frequency. They own a television, they own a computer, they own all these things. But they're so busy chasing after money, sometimes they never really stop to think. And so because thinking is like the hardest thing in this world, it is more easier to deceive someone than to convince them that they have been deceived and brainwashed. And that is why most people do not know the words create reality. Because if they know, they will hold themselves responsible for their thoughts and their actions. But you see, people want to blame a devil. They're looking for a scapegoat. So they don't want to look themselves in the mirror. And when I speak about the mirror, I'm not speaking about this phys the physical mirror you have in your house. I'm speaking about the wall, which is a mirror, which is giving you the reflection of who you are. And so my brother and my sisters, when you really understand this philosophy and you realize that you can create your reality consciously, then you will create your life whichever way you want it to be and you will become a deliberate creator. You would become a conscious creator, one who can shape and mold his life in this physical world to be a, respect, a respectable person in society and one who can contribute to society because you understand that there's a law of contribution. You will not be the kind of person who just want to chase after money to be seen a certain way in society. You would see to get certain things in life because you want to be of help to the rest of humanity and you'll be willing to serve because you would understand the love compensation that says that you must give first and they're going to come back to you. Press down, shaking together, and running over. Men will give into your bosom because of what you are giving. And that is why this message that I'm bringing to you is very valuable. It's the most valuable message you will ever hear. It is the message of self-realization whereby you can prove for yourself that imagination creates reality. It is the message whereby you can prove for yourself that you are the cause of everything in your life and there's only cause and effect. You see, most people look at the effect and they call them circumstances. And that is why they're quick to blame a devil. It, it was just this morning I was having a conversation concerning a horse that born in my country. And I was saying that that person, I know them personally and that they, they, they're deep into Christianity, okay? 
And when something like that happened to someone who goes to church and, and believe in secular Christianity, everybody going to have mercy and everybody, you know, going to have certain things to say. And they're going to say, thank God, God, spare your life. And, you know, just the house and that is just material. They're going to say all of these things. But if it's someone like myself who didn't know, do not believe in a literal man 2,000 years ago named Jesus and so on, and one who they brand and, 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 and they never really get to ask you the right question or even hear what you have to say, but they say, oh, you, you don't believe in God and so on, and they judge you because you have different beliefs. If your house born, they're going to say all kind of negative things. They're going to say it is God's judgment upon you. They're going to say all, all things. You, 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 you will listen to me. You know the kind of things that the religious people would say if someone who do, do not have, uh, do not hold their kind of philosophy, if, if, you know, like something like the house born or something like that, okay, if they lose something, you know, valuable, okay, they're going to say all of that, okay. And all of that goes back to the ignorance of how words create reality and how it is their thoughts that is creating their personality and creating everything in their life. That is why there's life, uh, uh, there's life and death in the power of the tongue. And even the Bible tells you there's nothing that is more dangerous and deceptive than the tongue that you do not tame. And anyone who is, you know, uh, honest. And whatever uh, ever had any experience with religious people, you know the most hypocritical people are religious people and the most gossipers are religious people. And the reason why they gossip so much is because they lack knowledge of self. They lack knowledge that we are one. They lack knowledge that it is Words are thoughts that create reality. That is why they're not, respons they're not responsible for the things they say. They don't hold themselves responsible, I should say, for the things they say. They just speak and, and quote Bible without any understanding. So, my brother, my sisters, I'm just encouraging you to be more aware of the things you say and do and the life you live. Remember, you're here. To serve, we are here to serve each other. We are here to be our brother's keeper, not to separate and divide, not to conquer, but to understand that love is the greatest thing you can ever possess in this world. That is why you have to start with loving yourself and embracing yourself and believing in yourself. When you do that, you start to love others. And you start to embrace others. And you will always have an optimistic view of the world. Never a pessimistic view of the world. And the people who do not have the same philosophy with you. We who are more aware that we are the ones who are creating a reality. We hold ourselves responsible. Because we know who we are. So with that said, my brother, my sister, I can go on and on and on. But the main message I want to get across to you is that you are the cause of everything in your life. And remember, words equal your reality. As you think in the invisible world, so shall it be established in the visible, chief dimensional, physical world. Okay. So with that said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying. If it really makes sense, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And also, I'll definitely encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina, Mystery of the Virgin Boat. And not forgetting Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. Also, the 66 Books of Magic, The Overcomer's Bible, where Jesus has been omitted. And there's a blank space for you to write your name, which is I am. For that is the name of everyone in this world. And that's the name of God also from generation to generation. Plus my many other books and my gratitude journals. I'm definitely encouraging you to check them out. Also, if you're not a part of my Patreon community, as yet I'm inviting you to become a part of my Patreon community. And get a hold of 
my course for those who are donating 20 or more dollars, which is called the Innocent Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course on self-concept. With the inner sun science and technology, I'm teaching you that the sun, as in the S-U-N, which is the light, it parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there's no life and there's no light. Without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. But my main encouragement to you is to make sure that you check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, I just want to say peace, love you all. Um, oh.